Hi everyone, I'm Tom from Surfer and today I will show you three tactics that you can use to master keyword research with Surfer's toolset. Keyword research is an extremely important process that can make or break your SEO. They are data points beyond monthly search volumes that can help you decide if you want to target that keyword or not. And this is I want to discuss today. Without proper keyword research, you won't achieve great SEO results. So let's have a look how Surface Toolset can help you. Keyword Research Tool is a simple but powerful solution that gives you an enormous dose of inspiration. To access the data, pick your main query related to the topic you want to target and define location. Just after providing a phrase, you get a list of keywords with their volumes and what's massively important, the similarity score. What is similarity score and how do we count it, you ask? The similarity score will help you decide if you want to use a query as a secondary keyword or maybe target it with another content piece. It is presented as the percentage similarity between two SERPs, the main SERP for your typed query and SERP for the suggested one. How does it work? We compare the main keyword SERP to all SERPs from our database. When we find that some keywords have overlapping pages in their SERPs, we list them with a proper score. For example, if 10 URLs from top 20 are the same, we will show you that this keyword is similar in 50%. If there are 14 overlapping URLs, the similarity is 70%. If you will notice phrases with high similarity score, you should consider creating an additional content editor or audit, or at least adding them to the important sections of your site. That way you will increase your chances to rank for multiple keywords and gain additional traffic from related phrases. Let's move on to the next sections. Here in the left side panel, you can find having same terms and question segments. The having same terms section revolves phrases that contain your main phrase. For example, SEO how to learn, how to learn to do SEO, how to learn SEO Reddit, how to learn SEO and PPC. In the questions section, you get a list of, you guess it, questions that are connected to your main phrase. You can use them as a headings in your content, for example. After all, they can be a good secondary keywords as well. By the way, you can dig much deeper with the analysis by adding keywords to the clipboard and making additional research. That way, the number of propositions will rapidly increase. The second way to do a keyword research with Surfer is to spy on your competitors. You can use keyword section in a SERP analyzer to check on what phrases your competitors rank. To get this data, go to SERP analyzer, pick a keyword, location, and run a query. Go to keyword section and you will dive into the sea of opportunities. You can sort the list by relevance, which is calculated based on the search traffic and monthly volume for a keyword, overlapping pages, or search volumes. What is really cool, you can customize the list of the competitors you use for the analysis by clicking the Select Competitors button and picking the right ones. Keep in mind to pick competitors wisely because it will affect the outcome. And third, the last way to do a keyword research I want to discuss today is to use our free Chrome extension, which is used right now by more than 125,000 users. Keyword Surfer. To get this extension, click on the link in the description and install it. Once it's done, you can start doing a keyword research directly in Google. It's 100% free and shows the same data about phrases that you can find in the keywords research tool. Sort the keywords by their similarity score or search volumes, add them to the clipboard, export your list, or use the extension just for a quick check. The cool part here is that you get much more data about search keywords that search volume or CPC value. You can check if the SERP is dominated by high authority sites, long articles, or keyword stuffed landing pages. Based on that, you can estimate your chances to appear high in the search results. Easy. I hope that after this video, you get an idea on how you could use Surfer's toolset for a keyword research. By the way, are you using Keyword Surfer already? Let us know what do you think about the extension in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.